Now we are ready to introduce the concept of the differential amplifier. The question now is what is the differential amplifier? The differential amplifier takes the differential voltage, the voltage difference at the input and then amplifies the difference of the input voltage and sends it to the output. The output voltage may be single-ended as in the op amp or it can be differential output so if you see this configuration this is a single ended output it's basically a very simple op amp circuit you take the differential input and you send it to a single output or it can be differential input differential output so it takes the differential input and then it sends it as a differential output both amplifiers are useful in many applications and analog IC designs so we use both of them very frequent the differential input voltage in the differential amplifier remember we stress in the differential amplifier the differential input voltage is the voltage difference between the two inputs which are specified as VD will equal to V plus minus V minus where the V plus is the voltage at the plus polarity and V minus is the voltage at the minus polarity. Basically what it means is the differential input voltage will equal to the voltage across the input or basically the voltage difference across the input. So here I have a question for you. What is the advantage of using differential input? why we wanted to use differential amplifier why we wanted to amplify the differential input the answer is very simple differential input voltage cancels the common mode input voltage and it only amplifies the differential input so there is many many applications in electrical engineering to advance the speed of the IC circuits that requires us to take the differential input voltage. A classical example and something we call serializer deserializer circuit. The serializer deserializer circuit is a special kind of circuit usually communicates to the bus in the digital circuit. You see we are discussing a very hot topic these days is a mixed signal design. What you do is you have for example a microprocessor would like to communicate with the memory and the microprocessor communicates with the memory at very fast speed that a lot of times we have a lot of noises surrounding that link between the microprocessor and the memory but what's important is the differential signals or the differential amplifiers are extremely important in advanced topics in analog IC design by any means what's the advantage of using the differential input the advantage is that the differential input voltage cancels the common mode input voltage and it only amplifies the differential input signal that is why the differential amplifier is important it cancels the common mode input voltage also the common mode input voltage is the voltage that is common to both inputs remember we discussed the common mode voltage earlier we said it's the voltage that is common to both ends then the common mode input voltage is the voltage that is common to both inputs of the amplifier the common mode input voltage may be an offset voltage to both inputs that can be the DC offset to bias the transistor for example so what we can say is the voltage at the minus terminal will equal to V1 plus V offset and the voltage at the plus terminal will equal to V2 plus V offset so the offset voltage is common for both inputs the plus and the minus then we can say that the differential input voltage VD will equal to V plus minus V minus so this will equal to V2 
plus the offset minus v1 plus the offset and the v offsets cancel each other out so we have vd will equal to v2 minus v1 in this picture it shows you that the, vol the voltage of the plus polarity will equal to v2 plus v common mode and the voltage of the minus polarity will equal to v1 plus the common mode and when you do the differential voltage you can see that the differential voltage is basically v2 minus v1 so the common mode input voltage can be generated by noise of other components in the circuit so now what we can say is the V plus will equal to V2 plus V noise and V minus will equal to V1 plus V noise and by taking the differential input voltage we can say that V2 plus V noise minus V1 plus V noise and the V noise cancel each other out remember that the noise is common voltage to both inputs so the noise is cancelled and what remains at the input is the difference between the two input voltages now the differential input voltage is V2 minus V1 there is two type of noises that are eliminated by the differential amplifier the first one is what we call the power supply noise the power supply creates a lot of noise in the circuit for many reasons and you would like to cancel that noise that noise will be common to both inputs because that noise comes from the power supply so you'll be able to cancel the power supply noise by using differential inputs the other one is through electromagnetic interference we call it EMI so the electromagnetic interference noise is created by inducing the magnetic field between adjacent components and the differential amplifier will be able to cancel that electromagnetic interference noise remember we said that by Ampere's law if there is a current flowing into a conductor that current will create a magnetic field if this current is changing because a lot of times we use digital circuits and the digital circuits are adjacent to the analog circuits and they are clogged so they go up and down so the current is changing and that change in current will be induced as a voltage by Faraday's law so Ampere's law says that if there is a current flowing through an inductor it will create a magnetic field if that current is changing according to Faraday's law it will be induced in adjacent conductors due to the magnetic field and we would like to eliminate that noise through differential amplifiers also another important note that we also stated it earlier differential amplifiers may implement single input amplifiers by grounding the other input so this is also commonly used as before when we show you here in the graph for this differential amplifier you can ground one input and then the other input will be the differential input basically the input to the amplifier which is VD in this particular case will be V1 because V1 minus 0 is V1 so you can implement a single input amplifier using differential amplifiers.